was our, I was wondering in contemplation why the Lord would send us into a storm. And I, I, I remember, I remember when I was in uh, New Orleans several years ago. And it was raining. Rain season, I guess. So I went to go see if I could get some different kind of shoes because I had had some shoes that were not, they were kind of cloth and they were cloth and rain. It ain't a, ain't a good combination. Went into a store, went into a store and looking at, at some shoes and there were two shoes identical to one another. And, uh, but the price of one was higher than the price of another, even though they were identical looking shoes. So I asked the shoe seller, what is the difference between one shoe and the other shoe? If they look the exact same, why does this one cost more than the other one? And he told me that it is because this shoe costs more because it's made weatherproof. Weatherproof. And even though it looked just like the other shoe, he said, if you wear that shoe out, then it will not be able to withstand and hold up in the storms that we're having. But even though this shoe looks just like the other shoe, you can wear this one in all the storms you have and it'll still look just fine. Lean in, child of God. The reason God doesn't mind sending us into a storm is because even though we may look like everybody else, if you are a child of God, he's made you weatherproof you can go through a storm and still not be destroyed it is not because we look better than anybody else it is not because we look fancier than anybody else it's because god made us different that we can go through the storms of life and still come out 